Well, boys, it's finally here. After months and months of waiting, we finally have our first look at the new Super Mario Brothers movie, and there's a lot to unpack. There's been a bit of a negative precedent again this movie from the jump because Nintendo has decided to work with a little uh, maybe a little indie movie company called Illumination, known for the uh, you know small indie films like uh, Horton Hears a Moo, uh, The Lorax, and Despicable Me. You know, just just little indie projects. You know, now Illumination obviously has a very uh, distinct art style that people are very very familiar with and most are not a big fan of. So people were really concerned what the Mario trailer was going to end up looking like, especially, oops, especially after seeing that teaser trailer that I talked about in my TikTok. But on Thursday, Nintendo did a live stream, big old Nintendo Direct, full event. I think they even streamed it to New York Comic Con, and they showed us this. Bowser looks absolutely awesome, dude. And surprise, Jack Black nailed his voice over here. I also want to really quickly shout out this line that surprisingly nobody's talking about, but is just so badass. Do you yield? <laughs> Do you yield? I love it. I'm down. I want to know more about this Penguin Kingdom. And along with everything else, we obviously got a look at Mario and the early look at the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, and I, I guess also Toad. We, we got Toad too. So, so that's the consensus, right? Illumination took a very, very different artistic direction with the Mario Brothers movie compared to a lot of their other projects. And personally, dude, I'm here for it. I think it looks great. I, I won't lie though. I'm not a uh, super big a fan of the fact that Chris Pratt is voicing Mario and is literally just himself. It, it doesn't it doesn't really sit well with me it doesn't really you know match the sentiment but what can you do the voice lines in particular have gotten a lot of sort of mixed feedback because there's it's a difficult situation to put yourselves in when you're making a movie based on characters that sound like wah because on one hand you could go the authentic route and make mario sound like mario or Toad sound like Toad, but run the risk of those voices getting a little bit annoying to like the common audience who doesn't like keep up with Mario. Or you make Mario sound like Chris Pratt so that they can use Chris Pratt as a selling point and make billions and trillions of dollars off of the movie. It's a big mystery going around why Charles Martinet was not involved in this film. I would imagine probably because they wanted to sell that Chris Pratt was in it. Now the reactions on Twitter as far as the character designs are pretty polarizing, but I feel like a lot of folks forget that Nintendo actually did make a Mario movie back in the 90s. And uh, to give you an idea about how much better this movie is, um, th this was a Goomba. Yeah, I, 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 I kid you not, that, that was a Goomba in the original Mario movie. And second, we have Bowser. <laughs> Looks, you know, a little bit like somebody who's got some sort of like dungeon in the basement. And who knows how many people held captive down there. Uh, and then, you know, I, I don't even think we have to get into Yoshi. But surprisingly, the biggest point of conversation wasn't even like anybody else's character designs or even the voice actors. People were generally okay with Mario's design for the most part, aside from one thing. Mario has a very noticeable lack of dumpy in this new movie and fans are absolutely outraged i've heard a lot of comments talking about how mario did not have a dumpy in any other games before odyssey but like come bro look i'm not gay but shoot i mean this wario uh, i want to i'm gonna like this tweet so whether it be mario's lack of dumpy or the fact that toad apparently has teeth now which is the most terrifying thing on the planet uh, everybody's got an opinion, and I think that Nintendo and Illumination, both are companies that have been around long enough to know that you're not going to please absolutely everybody. It's just not going to happen, you know? Video game movies over the past little while have become so much better than they used to be. I remember when, when a Resident Evil movie would get announced, people would immediately kind of just shove it off of, oh, it's a games movie? Pfft, cringe. Get it out of here. Because they knew it was going to be bad because it always was. That precedent kind of got switched around when the Sonic the Hedgehog movie started coming out because the first Sonic, as we remember, didn't look amazing. You know, it looked like uh, some uncanny valley type of stuff. And then they ended up taking what, like a year's delay to redesign Sonic and it was fantastic. 
And the second movie I hear is even better than the first. So if this new Mario movie is actually any good, I think it's going to set a whole new precedent for what video game movies are, are sort of expected for uh, by a general audience. One thing I was a little bit confused about when I got onto Twitter today is I saw that hashtag unsubscribe was trending for some reason. This kind of opens up a whole other mystery into this movie. Uh, the official Twitter account for the Mario Brothers movie uh, tweeted out this. Uh, at Tammy, you've entered the warp pipe. Hang on and see where it takes you. Reply hashtag unsubscribe to opt out. And I have obviously all the, the replies are people unsubscribing. Uh, this is the, the real Twitter account, by the way. The actual Twitter account. However, uh, if we go and try to find that tweet, it's not there. It's not there. It's some sort of random ghost tweet that for some reason has just vanished off of their page, but is still live on the website. It, uh, it brings so many questions. Who's Tammy? Wh how did he enter the warp pipe? And where is it going to take him? Why would we need to unsubscribe? Why did so many people start trending unsubscribe by retweeting it? There, there's there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions. I, I, I don't understand them all. It's one of those movies that just seems to be shrouded in absolute mystery. But so far, it looks really freaking good. Oh, no. I, I just saw this. I just saw this. IGN. Mario's butt is still missing in the first teaser trailer. I told you guys, dude. Mario's lack of dumpy has been, like, the most talked about part of this movie. It's just nuts. Look at... God, look at that lack of ass, just flat board all the way through. Not a super big deal, but also something worth mentioning. Like I said, they did show this off at uh, New York Comic Con alongside the Nintendo Direct. And Jack Black was there, uh, cosplaying very loosely as the King Koopa sat upon his throne doing Q&As and things like that. And, which I think is well deserved, dude. Jack Black nailed the voice of Bowser in this trailer. It was nuts. I also asked my audience what their thoughts on the movie trailer were, and a lot of people are down for it. Some people are, you know, still upset about the dumpy, uh, and the others think that I should uh, voice over Toad. So Nintendo, if you're, uh, if you're, you know, looking for, you know, another voice actor, you know, for the second movie, you know, um, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can fill the role. Yeah, so. You know, c c uh, c c call me, c call me, call me, please.